Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the Movie Hangout. The Northman Review, a gory, epic Viking story. That's the topic of this video. Before I jump into it, if you go on over, click subscribe, comment, like. I'd love to hear your opinion on the article. Okay, so once again, I'm back to the awesome Bounding in the Comics. Great articles here if you want to read about movies, TV, comic books, anime, video games. I mean, just, I mean, you name it, they got it. No BS. They have awesome base takes on all of this stuff that you're not going to find at other places. Okay, so The Northman is a Viking, a violent Viking movie that is out right now. It is starting to pick up a lot of buzz because it's pretty awesome. If you've seen the trailers, you know what I'm talking about. If you've not, go check them out right now on YouTube. I mean, as far as uh, the historical accuracy with the costumes, the weapons, there's even uh, Viking mythology with the type of religion these people believed during that time. It's just really refreshing. On the wokeness meter, it, it's not even existent. There, there's no wokeness to it. It's just good old-fashioned storytelling. So the Northman Review, a gory Viking epic forged in boisterous greatness. I mean, look how cool this is right here. You can tell what type of movie this is from these images. The Northman is directed is director Robert Eggers' third feature film after The Witch, which you have to, you should check that out. It's a period piece around the time of like the early settlers in America, like around the Pilgrim time. Great film, it's a period piece. The Lighthouse, that's amazing as well, starring Robert Pattinson, William Defoe. The film is written by Eggers, and I'm gonna miss this mess this guy's name up. So I think it's like a Scandinavian name, S J O N. I can't even pronounce it. He also co-wrote Lamb and is a frequent collaborator with Bjork. The Northman is described as an epic historical action drama, but is essentially a Viking revenge film. Say no more. With all of the crap coming out of Hollywood, I think we all need a good Viking revenge film. Look how jacked Eggers is right here. Or I'm sorry, Alexander Sar Skarsgård. Look how jacked Skarsgård is right here. I mean, that dude got into character. So cool. Taking place in AD 895, uh, Ethan Hawke, he was also in the film as well, and William Defoe was killed by his brother. Um, his son, Amleth, flees and swears revenge on his uncle while bowing to save his mother, played by Nicole Kidman. In AD 914, a now adult, Skarsgård has been raised as a Viking and has enlisted as a berserker, seemingly losing his focus in furious battle. Amleth is reminded of his revenge mission a few years later by Bjork, who predicts that Amleth will soon set his, set his sought after revenge on his uncle. The film is based on the story of Emileth, who was written sometime before the year 1200 and inspired Shakespeare's Hamlet. So that's so cool, right? So this is actually a, a Viking tale that inspired Shakespeare. A lot of people think that William Shakespeare just came up with all of his stories um, out of nowhere. But no, it was actually, he was inspired by people before him, which I think is so cool. And it's cool that we get to see storytellers and, and, and hear stories that uh, the people, nobody's ever heard of before. The Northman feels like it's forged by the same cinematic swordsman that created the likes of Conan the Barbarian, Beowulf, and Gladiator. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty big endorsement. But with a bloodier and slightly trippier ambience. Robert Eggers tends to be known for. I mean, that. <laughs> Give me a ticket. Shut up and take my money right now. Uh, Amalith opening voiceover as the film opens with a mon monstrosity intimidating volcano on the verge of erupting is haunting. Skarsgård has his gruff and nearly grunt like growl to his speech that you can feel 
reverberate in your chest as he speaks. The score of the film is also just as memorable and incredible on paper. It's just a series of loud drumming and pounding, a fancy string arrangement and some harmless chanting. But all those elements together suddenly become this impressive musical declaration of war. The score constantly crescendos and always finds a way to ignite a fire within you. It's, it's humorous to think most will have seen William Defoe last and Spider-Man No Way Home. Defoe's role as Hamar, the fool, is also a leap in a different direction, even when compared to his role as Thomas Wake in the lighthouse. Hammer's key role in the story is to oversee the spiritual journey Amaleth takes. What I have to be honest with you, I'm having a hard time with these names because they're all like <laughs> they're all they're all like I guess like Scandinavian type of names. Um, it's a bizarre sequence as both grown men and a young boy are dressed in nothing but loincloths as they act like dogs get on their hands and knees, drink water from a bowl, belch, and take turns sniffing each other's... <laughs> okay. Crazy. Um, it says the, the barbaric action is fairly straightforward in Northman, but that but what complicates things are Amleth's visions, beginning with this encounter with the Cirrus. Amleth also battles an undead spirit for the Nightblade, has a vision of Valkyrie, taking him to Valhalla and sees his unborn children in rare glimpses of the future. Nicole Kidman is exceptional. That's her right there. She looks, still looks pretty good. Um, Kidman shines in the role as well, as you seem to love the fact that a mother could be so cruel to, to one of her children. Spoiling a, uh, spoiling a film is no fun, but since the Northman is kind of bombing at the box office right now. It is unfortunately because the, the the marketing is just not existent for it, which is really a shame. Because, I mean, there's so many bad movies that Hollywood cranks out. They get two times the amount of marketing that the actually went into the budget. But this one, I haven't seen really a whole lot other than just content creators talking about it. The finale of the film takes place. Well, I don't want to ruin that part, but it's. I mean, look at the look at the costumes. Pretty cool, the lighting, the sets, the makeup. I mean, you got horseback riding. You got your. You got fights with axes. You got sword play. I mean, right now this is really refreshing. The Hollywood has come out with this, so I would strongly suggest. Get a ticket, go check it out, support it. Robert Eggers is a, an amazing filmmaker. The guy takes big chances. I mean, he doesn't he doesn't just swing to get like a single. He goes for a home run, and he's willing to go down striking out. So I really appreciate that with a filmmaker. I appreciate that there's a studio out there that actually put the money to to make this thing a reality. And what I'm hoping is, I'm hoping the more word spreads of this amazing film and people go out, they buy it, they buy a ticket, and then little by little, this thing makes a really big profit. But anyway, let me know what you think of this film. Are you going to go check it out? Are you ready for a gory Viking story, an epic gory Viking story? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you want to get future rants, reviews, or original content, click subscribe. Later.